So I'm still a virgin and I will never sleep with women until I get married. So no matter if I am 18 or 46 or 65, I have to be virgin and celibate until I get married to the right woman. So in this episode of Before the 90 Days, we're introduced to Misha and Nicola, the self-proclaimed 46-year-old virgin. Now the pair bonded over their love of religion, but Nicola's celibate status has given Misha and her family some reservations. So you're not worried that he's a virgin? Intimacy isn't everything, but it is a big part of a relationship and certainly a marriage. I know. I know. Because of his faith, Nicola is celibate until marriage. And so that leaves him a 46-year-old virgin. While I so admire his convictions, at the same time, it makes me worry knowing that I need certain things like affection, a lot of affection. Obviously, there's no sex before marriage. So when I get there, I have to just see how he is with just even just basic affection. But it's not just Misha's family that's skeptical. Nicholas says that his mom isn't going to be a fan of his new love. I don't know what's the problem with your mother. Your mother wants to take a girl, a girl, and give her children. My mom, she thinks I'm talking with some woman, you know, when I'm in my room, but she don't know that this woman is real. She just thinks she's a friend. Earlier in the episode, Amanda seemed to be getting some cold feet when it came to intimacy with Razvan. However, she definitely wasn't getting literal cold feet. Okay, so why? Do you sleep with your socks on? <laughs> like, who, who, who sleep with socks? A lot of people. Like... <laughs> Stop it. Like... I just wear socks. I like to wear socks all the time. <laughs> I hope when we will have sex, you will not have... We will not with socks on, because it would be weird. Oh, oh my God. You know? Ross Vaughn, for his part, seems to be trying his best to make Amanda comfortable. But Amanda seems to have some hesitation as she seems to have some lingering feelings for her late ex, Jason. It's difficult to talk with Rosvin about my emotions because it's supposed to be a fun, exciting trip. And I don't want to bring down the mood. I'm a good kisser. Mm-hmm. Good. When you are with someone and they pass away, it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's like, I'm like cheating, but like I have, you know, a sense of guilt, like, is, is this okay? And at the end of the episode, she was less than enthusiastic about Razvan's offer to come visit her in the United States. I can come there in right after you leave. No. What? That's not realistic. You not, you don't want? Like I have to see. I need to consider talking with Junior and Alina, like letting them know, like, oh, how would you feel if Rosalind will come here to visit? I have to think of my kids. Okay. And I think it's just way too soon. Yeah, then after one month. I don't know. Tyree met with his sister Lashanti to talk about Carmela the catfisher. And despite all the proof that the 90 day team has given him about the catfisher, Tyree seems to still be holding out hope about his alleged love. Do you still in the back of your mind think that she is real? A little bit, mainly because she hasn't deleted me yet on Snapchat or blocked me. There is someone behind these messages that I have a deep connection with. And I do think that it could be a big misunderstanding just because how deep the connection was but I don't know where to go from here. Oh, Tyree. Poor Tyree did seem to have a shock when he read the message that was from his catfisher. To think I cannot video call you because I'm not the girl in the photos. I know it's that I have not been honest with Tyree. I've been lying to him for almost five years. At first, it was a way to get money since most of us are so poor here. Um, I did start liking him, but I can't be with him. I feel so bad, but I really needed money. I'm sorry. Um, I do love him, but I can't be with him. 
Wow. Riley's on his way to see Violet, and Violet finally told her friends about the relationship. However, they seemed a bit skeptical about everything. Có chuyện muốn thông báo với mọi người là mình có quen một anh bạn thì anh ở Mỹ. Chị quen lâu chưa? Quen cũng hơn hai năm rồi. Hai năm mà nay mới giới thiệu. Tôi có mới nói sơ sơ với anh Loan chắc nó về. Gây rối, mất đoàn kết, nấy người rồi <cười> Đẹp trai không chị, đẹp trai không? Nhiều chuyện thấy nghe trai là cái tung tước người nào à, Chị có thích nhất cái tính là hay giỡn nhay á Hẳn dây với khùng khùng hay khùng Thế là, là giỡn nhay là thấy được với lại chăm chỉ làm việc, rất là xiên làm Gino's finally in Panama with Jasmine And while Jasmine seems to be pulling out all the stops to get back into the groove of things with her man Gino doesn't seem to be that interested. I can even remember when was the last time I had sex with Gino. In a relationship, sex is super important. So I'm hoping that Gino will put more effort into having sex during this trip. Oh my God. Look at me. I'm not wearing a bra. Okay. You gonna feel? I'm just trying to enjoy the feel, enjoy the bed, the com feel how comfortable it is. After seeing her spending habits and how she's being below pushing with me to get what she wants, it's not making me feel good about our future together when that affects my sexual desire. Old saying, you say potato, I say fight in the kitchen. Wait, that's not how that goes. It's not easy to peel a potato with a giant knife. Jasmine tries to order me around sometimes, and it just frustrates me. I am not a pushover, and I'm not gonna let Jasmine push me around. Who would have thought that peeling vegetables could lead to so much drama? Listen. That's the way it is when I move to a new apartment that is furnished. Right. Sometimes they have like a lot of stuff. But we Sometimes can't. We can't cook until you get the proper equipment. I don't you don't know have a cutting board. Start to death. You don't have a peeler or a cutting board. And I'm solving it. Well, I'm not cooking without the proper equipment. Thank you for the help, Gino. Yeah. All right. Enjoy yourself. Where are you going? Baby! <laughs> <laughs>